wish popping spicy topic so i want to talk about jeffree star you know youtuber makeup artist entrepreneur jeffree star who has worked with a lot of celebrities who was recently spotted on this picture he uploaded on his instagram showing a mystery man people was up in arms about it because of some past rumors of jeffree star the video that came out previously in the past with him um just having doing some role play with a buddy of his and you know just doing some acting skills and end up calling i guess derogatory names to somebody uh to me when i watched the video it wasn't really racist he said that he would throw battery acid on somebody to make her skin lighter but again they were acting so it wasn't even real they were like doing skits and then another time when he said some pretty racy things I still feel like that wasn't enough for me to deem him a racist, but there were a lot of people who had an issue with Jeffrey for that. Anyway, fast forward up to now, he recently, like I said, came out with this picture of this mystery guy. Everybody wanted to know who is this black guy? Someone came out, spoke up, recognized that arm, and let's take a look at who she was. Yes, she. On August 24th, 2020, at approximately 11.21 a.m., a woman that goes by low at ghost face low says my ex is on the shade room effing jeffree star it's not how i plan to start my day with a sick this is not particularly the woman that's gonna comment next now this guy's been getting around like i told you i'm gonna give you the story and then i'm going to give you my story okay my conclusion but first let's identify if you haven't already who the hell this dude is who's player man the unidentified man has been identified by a woman who claims to be his ex as andre manho who's a leo he's a basketball player that again plays overseas and he's originally from north carolina when that picture jeffrey put up of him and him came out this is what the shade room had posted lizzie says tell me what i've done to you tell me why to expose yourself but my son money because i could work harder to make our life better i was your ride and die i could do anything to save this relationship or our relationship anything now we're gonna get into my opinion at the end let's continue Jeffrey star said i know it's devastating news for some people but i don't give money to anyone i'm dating or anyone who is effing me work on your own insecurity sis i'm not the problem under there he says worry about how to pay your own bills but not who's in my mouth 100 thank you god bless upper management ouch that had to hurt for the other i mean the him other his other to come tell her like that's just devastating to me i will be pretty hurt pretty confused pretty pissed pretty embarrassed let's take a look at this clip to see her reaction her raw uncut reaction and we'll be back to finish up this video with my opinion so when you found this information out this devastating information mm -hmm. you guys what was your relationship status because I think you mentioned it. We were together, living together. Um, yeah, it was before, it was Thursday, two weeks before he, before he moved to LA. So, wow. So I, I didn't know what he was doing. He told me he's going to go there for, to work. So, you so know. So the stuff is still at your, your, you guys' home that you shared together with, with your son? Say it again. Like all of his stuff is still at your house yeah. and he just flew for work and just he hasn't been back since. No. I mean we I don't talk to him since since this happened. So wow. Yeah. So I hate to take you through these emotions because I know this is this is so challenging. Um but how did how did you find out what had happened? What uh, happened? I was with my my friend. Um, I I felt some type of way because that was not fair because we stopped talking to each other for no reason, and um, so I I was on my phone and I saw this picture and he's his hand was fun the, the hand was familiar and i knew it was him so everything well uh everything made sense when i saw this picture 
And what what picture are you referring to? Are you referring to the one where his his, picture, his face wasn't shown? You couldn't see him. All you could see was his hands and a little bit. All right, y'all. So that's that. If you want to catch the rest of the clips, you can check out the neighborhood talk too. This is my opinion. I think it was mad dirty the way they played that out. You don't do that. Then you put them and you put the women you're dealing with in danger. You embarrass your family, your kid, your son, and then you embarrass your child's mother who has to raise your child and it's just extremely disrespectful and you disregarded their whole world i mean how embarrassing is it for her family her friends to find out that the man that she obviously still has strong feelings for is left confused and in the dark about you having a whole relationship with another man i mean it's one thing for another woman but come on it's devastating if you think about finding out that the love of your life has left you and bounced with the same sex like so yeah there's no there's no pretty way to put that jeffrey star he does not care he he doesn't care he just wants the attention he's getting he likes it and it's very obvious by his response even though he heard her sadness her sorrow and her confusion about the whole thing the shock even though he heard her jeffrey did not offer any type of empathy he wasn't sympathetic he was very arrogant pompous everything about what he how he responded was basically all oh, i don't care you know that's how i took it it's about me i'm happy this is a blessing which is not but you know and here's a picture i'm going to show you where i've read a little guilt and shame in in andre's eyes but they've been spending time together strong so maybe i read it wrong let me know what y'all think in the comments keep it light just tell me how y'all feel about the whole situation hopefully i was able to explain it in a couple minutes and thank you so much for watching again go check out the full clip you can find it on the neighborhood talk to i talk to you peace